suit that we're designing is called the bio suit. Now, it might not look like your conventional spacesuit here. There I am. I'm in what's called the moonwalker up in my lab. I'm hung up by the rafters. I'm literally experiencing Mars loading. Mars is three ace gravity. So on my feet there, I only see three ace of my body weight. I can move. I'm actually loping. I'm going to lope on, on Mars. You can run, walk. Loping is ideal. So um, if Rachel could come out, Rachel Foreman, graduate student at MIT, is going to model the bio suit for you here. Rachel, thanks for joining us. So this is our fourth version mock-up. A mock-up is a space that just looks and feels like it. It's not pressurizing her all the way to a third of an atmosphere. These suits have to pressurize you to a third of an atmosphere to keep you alive in space. This is about a tenth right now so that she can interact with you. But in the lab, in the vacuum chamber, we pressurize folks to the whole thing, a third of an atmosphere to keep you alive. It's pretty mobile. If she goes, she can march, she can bend down. You can't do that in, in the current suits, the gas pressurized suits. We're pressurizing her through the materials directly applied to her skin. So a gas pressurized balloon suit that you have to work really hard against or directly putting the pressure right through on the skin. Now the helmet, this is actually an Apollo helmet to demonstrate, is going to be pretty conventional. It looks, looks the same. Conventional, she'll put that on so she has really good vision. She can see during the exploration. The smarts, the advancements in the helmet are, we're going to put a really, we're going to put an information system in there that gives you the topology. You can see the mountains of Mars and the craters on the moon. So we'll have a really rich information system within the helmet. But it looks kind of conventional because we want to run gas through there so that she's, you know, feels good. You don't want to shrink. You've all seen the Blue Man Group? No. We're not going to shrink wrap their heads. We don't want to shrink wrap the astronauts' heads. We want to give them a lot of air, but we do want to kind of put a second skin. This is called a second skin design. So we do want to use a second skin design on them. I think um, Rachel is, will uh, walk through. You can get a better look. We can tell you probably a little bit more about the design of it in, the, in questions and answers. All right. Lights up. She can, um, there you go. She can bend down. You know, she can do push-ups and jumping jacks in this. Uh, <laughs> so this is our vision then for the astronauts of the future to have a very mobile capability so that all of their energy is all about exploration and the search for life or other scientific endeavors.